Right, uh, 10 minutes to the top of the hour. Time now to play because too much work without some play makes me... Now, Harambe says head coach, Engine Firat, feels Thursday's international friendly match against host Doha in... That's Qatar in Doha, will offer the national team a good training ground ahead of their 2026 World Cup qualifiers. Now, the stars jetted out of the country for Qatar today with foreign players having teamed up with the squad a day before. The only problem we had is that most of the foreign-based players came today. So, uh, still also, Johnson Omova and Ayub didn't train with us, so we didn't make any uh, training with the full squad. So we will have only tomorrow in Qatar one training because the weather conditions are very tough there. So this is the only problem we had, uh, that we couldn't really train together with the foreign-based players all together. But in, in, in the end, uh, most of the uh, injured players look well, so I think uh, we will be ready for the match. Yeah, it's been a bit difficult. I've not played as much as I wanted to, but with moving to a new club now, I'm enjoying myself and I'm playing a lot of games, so yeah, it's, it's going well now. Uh, I think the most important thing is just to get minutes, to gel with the team and like I said before, just show everyone what I can do. To me prepare poor, now to now for the best, uh, to keep prepare easy friend Limbili, to keep prepare to chase the World Cup qualifiers. Because the nation is expecting a loss from us. And so far, to make one uh, good friendly matches, okay, on Iran. Now, now we're going to play Qatar, which is something new. Now, away from that, the final leg of the National Rugby Sevens circuit, Kabeberi Sevens, will take place this weekend at the RFUA grounds right here in the capital, Nairobi. Now, that tournament will see the winner of this, of this year's series crowned despite having a number of permutations on the table ahead of Saturday's opener. Over the years, you, you, you realize that development is something that you cannot avoid. So yes, Mwamba has accepted, we are going through that cycle. And uh, just like I said before, we are still helping Kenya rugby develop. I guarantee you that in the next two years, you will see those young players playing in the national team and of course representing us at that top level. So our main focus for this particular seventh season was actually development. So for us, um, achieving, uh, going or rather becoming number three in, with such a young squad is a big achievement. Um, don't be worried. Um, in, the, in the next coming years, Mwamba, I guarantee you, will be winning the series. And also we'll, have, uh, we'll be challenging for the 15th trophy. We've been supporting uh, this sponsorship for quite some time. Last year we supported them and uh, we shall be also supporting them next year. What we are looking for is sustainability and partnership which we can be able to carry on for a long time. Now away from that, FIFA president Gianni Infantino has said the 